Shalom, shalom, it's your brother Yaakov here again. Um, today is a short message again, just about Proverbs 26 um, and verse 11. And I read, As a dog returns to his vomit, so a fool returns to his folly. Um, the meaning of folly is a fool returns to his lack of good sense. That's what that word means, a foolish behavior and ways of living. That's what the word folly means. So again, I read in Proverbs um, chapter 26 verse 11 as a dog returns to his vomit so a fool returns to his folly his old ways um, bad behaviors um, a lack of good sense um, foolish behaviors and ways of living that's what that word means now what I want to um, talk about today is um, this story is about people getting drawn to Yeshua and his teachings and his commandments and rejoicing like yes we found it um, this is the best thing that's ever happened and later then down the track a supernatural event happens or uh, uh, maybe a bad event happened in their lives and maybe it's a test from um, Yahweh and they decide to fall back to their old ways sins and serve God on their own ways and not on his and this is the story of a dog returns to his own vomit so a fool returns to his folly to his lack of good sense this is what this means so um, I just wanted to address that so each generation has an opportunity to be taught I've got some notes here so I make sure that I say it correctly um, each generation has an opportunity to humble itself to be taught to repent of their ways and sins and return to Elohim and his ways and his commandments so some people rejoice and are really um, glad that they found um, our Abba, our Heavenly Father and His Son Yeshua and His ways and His teachings and they follow it um, but some actually fall away and return to their own vomit that's what that's, what's about and Elohim is extremely patient with all um, human beings um, He loves everyone because He made them we didn't make them, He made them um, so the earth and all the works um, will be exposed in the day of the Lord um, and it's not going to be a pleasant sight um, as Peter 2 Peter 3 uh, verse 10 says the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night and all the works of the earth um, will be burnt up and with fervent heat so nothing will be left so today's message is remember that once you've come to this never to come out of it to stay sh true to your word and and pray always, um, like Brother Paul Neeson says, brother, uh, pray, praise, proclaim, read, submit, and repent. I don't know if I said them in the order, but I know it's something like that. And it's so true that we've got to stay, um, eat, and I will even say fast on top. Say fast in that and pray vigorously and pray for shalom and peace and guidance and protection. Now, I pray this on everyone that watches this. Um, may Yeshua and His love and His teachings always be with everyone in all the four corners of the earth. Um, he loves you very much, so um, I love you as well. That means you're my brothers and my sisters in the world, and I want everyone to know that this is what Proverbs 26 um, verse 11 means. As a dog returns to his own vomit, so a fool returns to his folly. Folly, the meaning of folly is... Um, returning to his lack of good sense now we as Israel and we as believers of Yeshua we have good sense 24 hours a day seven days a week so when others look at us we are set apart from the rest now make sure that this is um, is is seen by many um, subscribe to my channel hit the thumbs up um, maybe it will help someone down the track um, yeah, yeah, bless all of you um, to his son Yeshua. And I've got his hat here, Yeshua Mashiach. It says Yeshua oh, HaMashiach. And that there is the Aleph and the Tav. I'm the first and the last. And this is the um, pictogram of how to write that in the old ways. And that's the strong man, the strong bull, the first one. And it means, and the, that is the covenant. So it's like saying God on the cross. 
Shabbat Shalom to everyone coming up now in Shabbat. Um, may Yah bless you and keep you and may His face shine upon you. Go make disciples of men. Shalom, shalom.